What's the best way to find your first $10,000 worth of products to sell on Amazon? In this video, I'm going to answer that question by giving you the specific tactical advice that I wish I had when I started my Amazon business. Because instead of clicking around randomly or ordering products from China or just clicking around random websites, there's a much easier way to do it. And as long as you've got a little bit of money saved up and you're excited to start flipping name brand products on Amazon, this is the guide for you. So instead of just talking about products you can sell on Amazon, let's actually go ahead and find some together, right? So what I'm looking for specifically to find my first products to sell on Amazon are profitable name brand products, the type of stuff that people are already buying and usually a lot of it, right? Because I know if you've seen any Amazon videos before, you've probably seen people talk about creating their own products and all that type of stuff. But when there's products like these, where a lot of these are on sale, plus we have an awesome coupon like this today, there's already a ton of margin waiting for us to just find it on these name brand websites. And in case you're worried about the ungating process, on these name brands i'll also be breaking that down for you but let's just go ahead and get started with the process as simply as possible so i'm going to go ahead and open up a couple of these listings here and we're going to try to scan through these and see if we can find any profitable products right and so what i'm looking for and the ones that i'm interested in opening up are going to be seasonally favorable so i'm not going to be interested in looking at too many like sweatpants and that type of stuff it's the middle of summer while i'm filming this right now i'm also looking for items that have heavy discounts right so if we're combining those two things together that tells me hey summer slide these are heavily discounted and it's the time of year where people are actually going to be buying that right so it makes now a good time to be looking at certain items and as i'm going through i'm also typically looking for the more kind of basic colors basic styles so typically not going to be selling too much of the pinks and the greens that type of stuff i tend to like to do a lot of just the all white shoes the all black shoes just like that type of stuff and so let's go ahead and dive in here and i'm just going to start with this as an example and we'll see if we can find any of these profitably so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to use our tool called seller that allows you to actually do product research as an Amazon seller. It's one of those essential tools that you want to have as an Amazon business. And what it's going to do for me here is it's going to take that search title that it automatically pulled from this listing for me. It searches for that product on Amazon and then gives me a little bit of data about that item, right? So instead of having to like copy paste and try to find the product on Amazon, all that kind of stuff, I can more quickly see the data here. And when it comes to selling on Amazon, the faster you can get through bad products, the more money you're going to make, right? So that's the first big mental shift that I had in my own business was the faster I can get at figuring out which products aren't worth looking at, the easier it is to find those obvious good products. So on this example, super easy example of something we could just skip right past. This is a 600,000 sales rank in the clothing and shoes category. Typically for products to actually sell decently, they're going to be under about 150,000 sales rank, maybe up to 200,000. Sometimes you can buy products like that. So that's your first like benchmark to look for products that actually sell. And typically that's going to be under about 200,000, right? So that is an easy skip and so let's go ahead and head on to this next item here which is just these like slides it seems and it's going to do the same thing it's going to search that title for me if we want to get even more specific we could also grab the color and paste it in there so we could potentially see the correct listing for that color so perfect so we got this one right here seems like you got some multiple options here as well and that's one other thing that you'll want to take advantage of a lot of products on amazon actually have multiple listings or there might be a specific version of it that's way more profitable in one place so for example these it seems like we might be profitable on these kind of right away because on these seller is telling us that our max cost for us to actually make a profit is about 12 bucks and when we buy this with that 30 percent coupon we're gonna be buying that for around 10 bucks or so right so let's we definitely want to dive in on those three listings right there i basically just opened up all of them that seem like they have the correct color got that like you know rose goldish vibe going on there and so let's go ahead and dive in so this is the first size that it took us to the size nine and i also want to just quickly figure out what are we actually paying for this item so i'm going to do that math within seller amp here and we're getting that 30% off coupon so I'm just doing times 0.70 that kind of makes sense for example like the very first item we're looking at here we're making two dollars fifty cents it's not quite profitable enough for me typically I like to look for at least three dollars profit and 35% ROI on these two options just so you know you're gonna make money after fees shipping all that type of stuff and all of that is included in the seller at profit calculator but just in case anything goes wrong returns all that type of stuff you always want to make sure that you're getting pretty strict with your margins right because that's what you actually bring home at the end of the day so let's go ahead and check out the charts down here because sometimes you'll find that these items might have been selling for a little bit more recently so you can see like right now the buy box price on these is about 22.87 on average last 30 days it's a little bit less profitable than that right at this very moment that's three dollars profit but the ROI isn't quite there so we're really close to profitable on this so what I want to do is I want to check out the Keepa variations tab down here just because it helps me look specifically for the right color that I want right so I want to go ahead and go to 
to variations and then click color. And then here we've got that rose gold that we're going to filter down to. It seems like there's a different version over here too, but we can also see this right here, these size sevens. These are about 25 bucks right now. The size nines, these are the ones we're looking at right now. And then a lot of the other ones are cheaper. So let's check these out, right? So it seems like these right here could be profitable. So 13.99 times 0.70. And yeah, these are pretty solid, right? So we're making $6.60, you know, 65% ROI. Let's make sure that price is actually consistent. So on average over the last 90 days, my, you know, our average price is about 25 bucks, 24 bucks or so. I'm making on average about $5 in profit. So that's not too bad at all, right? So that is something that I probably would go ahead and pull the trigger on. Just based on looking at the new offer count down here, you can see kind of sellers are actively selling out. You can also see this monthly sold graph right here. And this monthly sold graph is actually specific to the variation. So this is telling me that about 200 sales per month are going to this specific variation. So we could probably jump on buy 10, 20, 30 pairs, test it out, see how it goes. But right there, we're making, let's call it a hundred bucks in profit or so. Worst case, it's 50 bucks in profit. If we get more competition or anything like that, seems like we have about two sellers that we might be competing with right now. And then after that, the other sellers tend to get a little bit more expensive. So yeah, not a bad example there. So I would assume there's probably more of these slides that are profitable. I know I've looked at these in a, in a video in the past, so I don't want to be too repetitive here. Oh, here's another profitable product on one of those other listings, right? So 979, here's the size sevens. What do we, what was it? Yeah. So the size sevens are really good on this listing, like this specific type of shoe. So that's interesting, right? I don't want to go too deep onto something we've already looked at together. So let's check out this here as well. So I'm going to do that exact same process, right? Show me all of the potential listings for this shoe. And then from there, we'll figure out if it's, if it's worth our time, right? So this is, could be another good example, actually. So 150 K sales rank, it's right around the most I like to look for, but we'll see if it actually sells. And that max cost is a great sign here, right? Cause we're getting $26 max cost. We're going to buy these for around 21 or so after that 30% off code. And so let's just dive in and we'll look at some of this data together here. Yeah. So 28.99 times 0.70. Okay, sweet. So we're buying these for about 20. Awesome. And yeah, so this one that we just loaded in on here is going for about 49 bucks. So that's fantastic there. And this would probably be another item we could pick up a few pairs of here. And like I said, if you're, you know, like, how do I get approved to sell this? All that type of stuff. And I'll also show you a different, maybe slightly even easier way to source your first product. So I uh, make sure you uh, stick around to check that out as well. And yeah, it looks like these could be pretty solid, right? So like a lot of these sizes are selling profitably. So the, the nine and a halfs are 50 bucks, eight and a half, seven and a half. Let's see, like some of these used to go for 45 bucks. So 45 right there. Even then we're still making a pretty good amount of money. And we can see down here, the ratings history. You can see that people are actually actively buying these, leaving ratings for it, all that good stuff. And so, yeah, we could probably pick up 10 to 20 pairs of each one of these sizes here, just based on how many ratings they're gaining. So that's a very solid find there. That's probably a, at least a few hundred bucks in profit. So yeah, there's another quick example. And yeah, we can keep diving in through the, the Puma website and stuff. Let's check out this one more here, and then we'll dive into an even more beginner friendly way to source. This is a little bit confusing for you. And we'll break some other stuff down as well. So let's check these out. So we've got a bunch of different listings for these as well. Seems like our max cost here is a little bit lower and we're buying these for 60. We can see sometimes it's like different per color. So they're all like 60 ish. Okay, cool. So we'll just dive in here real quick and we'll see what we can find 60. Yeah. So these are, yeah, these are going to be gone for about 42 bucks. So we'll do the exact same thing. And you can also use the variations to try to basically filter out the like cheap versions that you don't really necessarily want to sell. So I do that and I just go to new and then I click current and it filters it by the highest. Basically, Let's see, we can go in here and check out. It seems like they had mostly just like the more standard types. So sweet. We got the black and whites right here. Those have 20 reviews and they're size five. It looks like, so those are a little bit small. Do we have those in stock size five right there? Nope. No, no fives in stock. That's, that's all right. A lot of these high risk reds are selling. These don't have any ratings though. Typically stuff with no ratings isn't going to be selling the best. These right here. Sweet. So let's see, like he's got a history going for 50 bucks. So you can probably disqualify those. Let's see. So these are, what are these called? They're calling these steeple gray. I just got a couple reviews. They, they probably sell a little bit. Is that going to be these steel gray? Did I, did I misread that? No, they call, they're calling it steeple. I wonder if the, the listing got misspelled or something. Let's see. Let's see if these colors are the same. And if they are, then there could be some profit because some of these are like, they're going for about 80 bucks and we're buying them for 60 plus that 30% off. So yeah, we're getting these for 42. So that would be profitable if we can find the right version here. So let's check this out. So let's compare those. Seems like they're probably the same. Yeah. Just based on the colors and everything. So yeah, comparing these two together here, it seems like they're probably the same color. I'm just going to 
assume it's like a, a misspelling there. Could be not up to you to, on terms of taking the risk there. The good rule of thumb when I'm looking at stuff like this, if I'm happy receiving whatever we're buying, whatever we're shipping in as a customer, then I'll go ahead and buy it on my end. So these would be okay, just based on how many reviews this had. It hasn't had a review in a little while here, which tells me that it might not be like the fastest selling right now, but at least at some point since 46 people left a review on this, that's hundreds of sales. That tells me that people are at least interested in selling this product. Even worst case, we have to lower the price by 10 bucks to just not selling at 90. I don't think you'd have any trouble selling it at 80. You're still making all the ROI, that type of stuff you're looking for. And then best case, but you got a lot of wiggle room, right? You got 25 bucks worth of uh, wiggle room on something like this. And like I've been talking about, I want to go ahead and dive into a slightly different way that we can source these exact same products, the same sale, all that type of stuff, where it might be a little bit tricky for some of you guys to know what you're actually looking for when we're out here sourcing. So let me go to just, let's start with our original lead that we found first. And what we can do to make this process even easier is we can do something called reverse sourcing. So pretty similar to how we're like looking through the Puma website in this example, just anywhere that has like a good sale going on. Instead of looking at a website and trying to guess what might be selling well, probably the easier route for a lot of you beginners who just want to connect the dots and see what's going on is going to be to storefront stock. And then, so this seller right here, they're selling some Puma products. They got 15 Puma products right here. What's going to be really useful is if we go in here and use their products as like a filtered list of stuff that we might be able to go in and, and find for ourselves, basically. For example, this seems like probably the listing we came from right there, that profitable Puma slide right there. And that shows me a couple more items of that same brand. We know where they're getting it cheaply. Now we just do a little bit of extra legwork to see if we can find the other products that they've also found profitably, right? So here's this, for example, like we know we're buying these slides for, for 980-ish. It says our max cost on those is, yeah, it's, it's about 10 bucks. So let's pop this open and see if it's a good example here. And so, yeah, we're checking these out. These are 13 bucks. So they're even a little bit cheaper than the other ones we were looking at. Let's see if we got a nice little example um, right off the bat here. So these are 23 bucks recently. Yeah, so 23, 20, 23, 50. The price looks pretty consistent. Recently, it's been at like 24 down to 21 or so. Now it's back to 23. So it's not like a, a major grand slam of a product. But if we do that, our, our coupon right there, right now, these are even a dollar cheaper than those other ones. So it makes it pretty solid, honestly. So 46 ROI, four bucks profit. So yeah, you can see how that works, right? So whichever one makes more sense to you, it all starts with just finding a website that has a sale going on. And then basically, if you want to look directly at the website, that's how I tend to do it. Now that I've got like some expertise, I know what I'm looking for. If you have no idea what you're looking for, then you're probably going to be way better off just like looking through these individual storefronts and copying the homework of these other Amazon sellers a little bit. So based on the fact that we found this, we're able to find another profitable slide. We could also see if these, these run tamed are profitable, not seeing them right off the bat there, but you can see how that process works and reverse sourcing. Once you have one product or even just one brand that's on sale, you can look at an infinite number uh, of people who are selling that brand. Cause all you got to do is go back to this list, right? So we got two more sellers here. Here's seven more Puma products we could look at and it just keeps going. And that's just one brand, one category. There's so much opportunity in this type of stuff. So really anytime you find a sale, that is the process for how you want to look through it. And once you've used those methods to actually find a profitable product, I want to break down how you can actually get ungated or approved to sell that name brand, right? So for example, the Puma products we've been looking at today, Puma is going to be gated to new Amazon sellers, but don't let that be a giant brick wall for making any money on Amazon, right? That held me back for way too long. I thought it was like impossible, but really the kind of the quick step-by-step -step is buy 10 units of that brand that we just found profitably. You could buy the exact same item that's already profitable and you get that to get ungated. As long as the invoice, when you go and place that order online as long as that online order confirmation has your address that matches your amazon seller account you're going to be good to go submit that invoice to amazon if you ever get any denials or anything just attach extra information tracking info pictures all that kind of stuff and hopefully you get it right away unfortunately it's not exactly amazon's best and brightest looking at a lot of the ungating that type of stuff so sometimes you might have to spell things out highlight over the invoices show them kind of what you're doing so that they can actually approve you to sell these name brands but don't let that hold you back don't let that be another excuse for you to actually get started and start making money with this stuff. But since you watched this far, please hit that subscribe button if you found this video valuable. Also, let us know down below if we can answer any quick questions, comments, anything like that. We're always super happy to help you guys out with anything you need. If you're not already using Selleramp, which is our tool that we've been using all day to source products together, make sure you get a free trial down below. And we are super excited to see how many profitable products you're going to be able to find to sell in your own Amazon business. We really appreciate you watching this video, and I will see you next time.